What's up guys, it's DMB Universe, and this is going to be a redirect uh, based thing that I'm going to continue doing from what I used to do with uh, uh, Miraculous Ladybug. Now, if you've been on my bit shoot, you would know that this episode, along with two other episodes, are already on bit shoot. So if you just want to go off and watch them after uh, using this direct to get to the Siren episode, do that. Because other people have, and the uh, only reason why it took me so long to get these, because these are brand new, basically. These are going to be my newest, uh thoughts and opinions uh from pre uh, uh how do i say this correctly last time it was like months ago or it was like months ago since i did those previous videos since i believe the last one i did was um da, 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 uh, 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 zombie zoo that was the last uh, already pre-made talk discussion about it so now I'm gonna make these three because one I actually kind of like th doing these. They're like uh, the mini reviews on my own personal thoughts and opinions on this show's uh, handling of villains and just uh, structure in general. And for some reason I just like hearing myself talk. I don't know. <laughs> uh, truth be told, it, it is it is nice to like put on one of my own personal things and refresh myself on my own on my own words and what went on in an episode. So. Gonna continue doing that. And I believe this is one of the episodes where I was talking about a, a while ago that an episode topped another person's power output because their power output was more on a scale of not to them, but to their environment. And Siren is definitely that. She is primarily just a mermaid, but it's a simple fact that she encompasses everything. <laughs> in water and uh ladybug and and Kandawar just don't have the means to actually fight her in their base state so they need the power of toyeticness slash just you know getting a power up uh to to allow them to beat this particular villain and i and i found that interesting so it means they're going to be more sort of like this like well what if they fight someone that's primarily uh, in the air like someone who is more adept in the air than the other like air users like the uh like the grandma that was using the using the broom, like, somebody who's in the stratosphere and can fly like a jet. Whether there's someone like that, and you know they can't keep up with them, so they need to get, like, a power source to allow them to fly or something like that. I can definitely see something like that with Ladybug. I mean, since she is a Ladybug, she should be able to fly regardless, but, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's schematics. You can't, just get, you can't just get everything you want. Um, and, and, that, and that's just pretty much all I gotta say on that front. As for uh, how Cat has been just in the dark, it, about all this i like how they're still addressing that and how you know it, it makes sense for him uh to be like that and again this is all off the cuff i didn't watch this episode uh, uh in a while so i'm just going off of what i remember in my head about uh what went on but in the end all i can say is for progression's sake it is it, it is right to bring in uh akumanized victims that pretty much outclass our heroes in some way if it's not if it's not in their physical or physical attributes because when you get from the episode that had ladybug take on multiple different other uh akumanized uh, uh, villains at once and show that her lucky uh that show that both her lucky charm and just her luck sense or whatever i'm gonna call it uh can just take them out w with pinpoint accuracy it, it's gonna be hard to put in more and more that can actually rival her strength and this was definitely one of the better ways to do it I'm not going to make this one 10 minutes because, uh, frankly enough, I don't really believe that the YouTube system actually works out like that. So I'm just going to stop it wherever it is and just keep it like that. So this is Dude on Be Universe. I'll see you next time. Bye.